next we will take a look at the index. So what will happen to the index? So this is the on SDI index. So if you take a look at the index, right? Actually, the index is quite uh, near the bottom. Okay, quite near the bottom. All right. So it's actually give us the opportunity to accumulate lah. Huh? So, but having said that, um, like what I mentioned, August and September is usually is not a good month for stock market. But you can see that the SDI index pull back um, at least 7.3%. So basically, it looked attractive, all right? So that's why I say, although we do not know how low they can go, but if you are, uh, what we call that? If you are keen, okay, all right, or if you have a spare cash, then you might want to consider to accumulate a small position first, okay. So the next level of the support, I think it will be near 3,100. Huh? So the next support is probably in 3,100 points. Huh? Okay. Right. So you can see that the selling is aggressive. So similar like the previous one, selling is aggressive. Okay. So we hope that if we can see a candlestick like this one. So we want to look at if it is a bullish candlestick, then we can buy some more. So at the moment, it is not a bullish candlestick. It has a hammer situation today. This is yesterday. It has a hammer situation today. 所以如果他这几天没有下跌的话其实是一个好事所以这个这几天的话是非常关键如果他有开始下跌的话那有可能接下来的support level是三千一百点如果你担心他会直接反弹刚才我所说的就是你买少许了就是不要买太多先如果他
Okay, so there's a definition, all right? But overall, if you look at the price is uh, oversold, huh? oversold, all right? So oversold, okay? So that's why market rebound uh, Monday because of the support level as well. All right? And then like what I mentioned, if you're afraid the market will continue to go up, then you buy a small position first. Uh, and then you see how later, okay? If the price continue to increase, you can continue to add position. If the price break below, then you might want to, you know, uh, reduce position or sell away. So you need to follow your plan now. Okay, ma? So it's, it's at the, it was at the support level previously. And followed by NASDAQ component. This is NASDAQ, okay? NASDAQ, all right? So NASDAQ also uh, rebound Monday. So we'll see how tonight, okay, what is going to happen. And same thing, they also hit the support level and then they rebound. And RSI indicate as a oversold. Okay, oversold. And look like the price is quite interesting. Okay. So we'll see how if the price can maintain above the trend line, I think the rebound may continue. But if the price drop back and then the support level will be at 3,100. Oh, 3,100. So this is the trend line. Anything can happen, uh, huh? so we have to be careful. Then we look at the RSI, for example, uh, the Nasdaq is just from the fall to the fall. So this is a very um, uh, normal pullback. Okay? So if you do the measurement, Nasdaq also drop somewhere around 8.8%. Okay? 8.8%. And Monday, Friday and Monday, they begin to rebound. So we'll see tonight, okay? If tonight the price continue to maintain above the trend line, then I think uh, the rebound may continue. Lah. Okay, but if the price drop back, then uh, the support level will be 13,100, somewhere around there. So this is Hang Seng Zisu, okay? So Hang Seng Index is uh, quite disappointing, all right? So like what I mentioned, has to be a very... Uh, patient uh, huh? has to be a very very patient all right so it's okay uh the issue就是這個很大哦很大呃居金在這個美國啊宣布破產哦美國然後第二就是這個美國經濟數據不是很明朗連最後就是呃美國跟中國的關係非常呃不好了哦或者是非常惡劣 所以导致这个美国的外资没有买入这个中国市场的股票。如果只是单靠这个内地的股民的话，是会比较难的。哈，and，and上两个星期我也是有谈到这个哦，跟大家分享这个其实是中国中央哈政府。就是说他有发布一些公告你还记得吗他的公告的话就是说他们想要活跃这个中国市场就在那天那个美国就在那天他们的报告一出来这个香港还有这个中国的市场其实有大涨可是只是短暂性而已就接下来的话他就开始下
给这个股民，可是只是短暂性而已，就是好像有心无力了哦。外资没有进来的话，会比较难一些，所以要很有耐心。And um, I believe like what I mentioned, um, China market is a very big market lah. Okay, so I still believe that you must participate because the index of Hang Seng is. Uh, very low and very cheap. Just a matter of time, lah. So you need to be a uh, very patient. Okay. So that's why I say in my previous uh message, I always say that if you have spare cash, then you buy. If you don't have a spare cash, don't buy, lah. Oh. So if you not if you uh if you think that you're not suitable for Hong Kong market, then don't touch, lah. Oh. So that's my advice. Okay, ma. So next, we look at the stock. Uh, this. Uh, we take a look the what we call that. This is S and P 五百 This is 十五号的，所以我拿比较新的哦。Let's let us take a look. Um, the latest one. All right. So um, it's a very obvious uh year to date the communication services, uh is dropping. IT sector is dropping, consumer discretionary, also dropping, and industry picking up a little bit. Oh, so you can see this. Before, uh, before the banks, which is IT banks, is performing very well. Before, ah, but now they are starting to fall. Okay, so if we look at the September. 一月的状况，一月的状况的话，其实是 energy 啊，能源哦，这个板块其实是有涨的哦。然后 communication services 接下来就是 healthcare，healthcare healthcare 的是呃这个医疗板块。所以如果我们是看一二度的跟这个看一个月的状况，当然它又是很大的不同哦。其实这个 energy 是在慢慢的涨。哦，原因就是有可能最近的 inflation 这个通胀哈、哦、比较固执哈、哦，通常如果是通胀比较固执呃的话，这个能源就会涨啊哈、哦，然后这个 I D 的板块就会下跌，所以这个就是证明说呃这个接下来这个通胀的话有可能会比较固执一点哦，而且另外一个原因就是美国市场也是上了蛮多啊，上六个月哦，所以它回调呃是。很健康的回调了哈，只是我们不知道它的回调会继续多久哦。但是我们也是想要买，当然，呃，我们无法在低点买进了哦，只能在呃靠近低点那边买哦，慢慢的买哦，好不好 ？So this is based on the um one month data and quite obvious that energy sector is picking up. Okay, this could be mean that the inflation is become stubborn. Usually, uh, inflations um is stubborn, then the energy price will be increasing, lah. Okay, so this is most likely the inflation is a, a stubborn uh situations in the U.S. lah, especially. Alright, so this is the data. I hope that will give you some information where to park your money in, lah, oh, or where to reduce your position. Alright, so the last two weeks, I have shared with you, is to reduce the position, lah, especially in this. 呃 ，ID 的板块，然后还有这个新加坡的市场哦，你还记得吗？所以如果你有减仓的话 ，then 你手上就有一些钱，然后你就可以慢慢看了，你要买哪一些板块的股票。All right, so that is the data sector, and then followed by a、uh, mastering price actions. On、uh, last week, uh, last weekend we just had our uh what we call that uh workshop. All right, and the time was just That was just good. The timing was just good because most of the U.S. stock are、uh, near the bottom, and then um, I did you know help the student to pinpoint what are the stock to look at, what are the sector to look at lah. Okay, and I show them in detail how to choose the right stock. Okay, remember um, um, selling is the most important lah. Okay, if you don't sell. Then your profitable trade will become a losing trade. So that is why this class is important if you want to see a significant improvement about your portfolio. And currently, 
um, the subsidy is still available up to 70% and then remaining 30% you can claim using your skill future so that you can attend this workshop entirely for free as compared to outside class some of the people they charge you four thousand to five thousand dollar cash that you need to pay by yourself but in fact they are teaching you the same thing okay but in this class i will show you how to choose the right stock and how the market rotate 就是好像那个风水是怎样转哦，外面是没有教你的哦，因为外面只是教你技术分析而已，所以这里我会教你技术分析，技术分析还有这个风水股票的风水是怎样转哦，它的钱是流入哪一个板块，因为它每一个板块
，所以股票越高的话，也是有呃有风险哦。虽然看它看起来是有很强啊 ，All right， 所以历史样子这样。And then followed by bank stock. Bank stock also pull back a lot. So we take a look OCBC. Right. So if you look at OCBC, um, the price look attractive, okay. But however, um, if you want to wait patiently, all right, then uh, we might want to use the two hundred day moving average here, okay, because we do not know how long they can, uh, stay at this level, okay. Who know? They may drop to two hundred day moving average, all right. Then uh. So like what I mentioned, if you afraid the price will rebound, you buy a little bit first, okay. If you buy a little bit, then they drop. Then you might want to accumulate more near the two hundred day moving average now, huh? So it's in theory, so this OCBC bank of the world, its price, uh, is have rise, and then recently, and then today, there is a rebound. 虽然如果你能等到十一块九毛的话，会比较漂亮啊，但是我们无法知道它是否会跌还是反弹。如果它反弹的话，呃，我个人认为的话，你还是可以买少许啦，就是刚才我所说的策略，你买少许的话有好处，就是说它反弹的时候，你可以再加仓。如果它跌回的话，你可以看状况，你要加仓，你要减仓都可以。Alright， 毕竟银行是一个很好的公司。哦，我本身是非常喜欢这个新加坡的银行啊。哦，因为为什么呢？因为它的股息是非常漂亮哈、哦，尤其是今年的 OCBC 的股息啦。哈、哦。呃，今年它给了差不多呃六八千的股息，哈、哦，是非常漂亮哦。And 呃 ，DBS。So DBS also pulling back, alright. So they are moving in a sideways, okay. So this is a support level, lah, okay. So this is a DBS, and the support level is near thirty two dollars. 差不多是三十二块了，会比较强的啊支撑哦，三十二块会比较强的支撑哦。所以刚才我讲过，呃，我们不知道它会从这边。继续反弹吗？哦，我们不知道。所以，如果你感觉到它会继续反弹的话，你就买少许先呐、啊。哦，所以，呃，买少许，刚才我说是有好处。OK， 如果它有跌回的话，你再考虑买进；如果它有继续反弹的话，你可以考虑加仓。OK， then follow by U O B， right？ So U O B also near the support level. So most of the bank, three bank. They are pulling back near the support level, lah. So the price look attractive if you want to buy, okay. Right. So will they will they continue to go down? Um. So that's why I say don't buy uh too much. You buy a little bit first, okay. You buy a little bit first, alright. So probably the next support will be somewhere around here, lah. So the bank stock, uh, look attractive. It has been pulling back. Okay. And next is Capital DC, Capital Corp. All right. So Capital DC, the price. The uptrend still intact, lah. Huh? 上升趋势的状况还是存在。呃，最近它有下跌，呃，就是跌破这个五十天平均线。如果它的股票有继续反弹
，OK， 如果呃他反弹。回去这个五十天的平均线上面的话，我我相信呃这个呃股票会继续上升了、啊、哈、哦，所以你们注意一下，所以现在还是在五十天的下面，之前它也是跌下五十天下面，然后它继续的反弹，所以这一次的状况是否会是一样？所以如果是一样的话，哎，我们可以呃买进了，如果它有继续涨。呃，就是说突破这个五十天的平均线 ，All right， and then Kepler DC， so Kepler DC recently break below the fifty day moving average, All right， so if I remove the trend line, right. So there are still some space, probably before they go up, maybe they will pull down a little bit. So this is my guessing. All right. Previously, the support level here was quite attractive. All right, but then the price cannot hold; it continue to go down. So the next support level could be somewhere around two dollar, uh, somewhere around two dollar and twenty. Two dollar zero three cent. Two dollar zero three cent. Somewhere around here. Oh, 差不多是两块零三这样啊，差不多两块零三。Oh. And what else? Food Empire and SD Engineering. We can SD Engineering. Then SD Engineering. So SD Engineering is still one of the can consider strong stock. Oh, SD Engineering 的话还是属于这个比较强势的状况。哦，可以吗？你可以看到它是走横盘的状况，而且还只跌七点三八仙，它没有跌，所以证明的话，它是跟这个杨子江的状况是一模一样。哦，庄家还在场，没有呃这个卖出的状况。所以，如果你们要买金的话，其实是可以哦，可以哦。如果呃还只反弹的话，我相信这个 S D I 呃这个 S D Engineering 也是会反弹，可以吗？所以它的价钱其实是，如果你看它的图表的话，哦，它的 Candlestick 哦是非常漂亮的哦，非常非常漂亮。OK， 可以吗？股票没有跌 ，All right。而且是在这个 support 的上面 ，OK， so it's very clear the price is at the support above support 啦 ，right？ 所以 again， I think the price may move in a sideways for a while before they break through。好，所以看它样子的话，有可能是 break through 了哈。All right, because the price was uptrend, moving up, and then now this move sideways. Although SDI index is dropping seven point three percent, SD Engineering does not drop. So, it's a very strong stock. Then, next up is Food Empire. So, Food Empire, the uptrend is still there. All right, just that recently the price. Didn't move 了哈。Food Empire 虽然是上升趋势，可是它的价格没有什么走动，有可能原因之前上了很多。OK， 可是它的股票还是在我的 watch list 里面呢，哦，还是在我的 watch list 里面。And then 呃，它的价格还是在这个 support 的上面。OK， the price is still above one dollar, is still OK. If the price one day break below one dollar, then it would be careful, lah. So, to the present moment, it is okay. Because it does not fall below this one dollar. If one day it falls below one dollar, it will be very careful. So, the price is still above one dollar. All right, just that it does not fall below one dollar. If one day it falls below one dollar, it will be very careful. So, the price is still above one dollar. All right, just that it does not fall below one dollar. If one day it falls below one dollar, it will be very careful. So, the price is still above one dollar.
dynamic. Okay, how do you think about dynamic? Dynamic also break below the uh, what we call that 50 day. All right, so if the price didn't rebound, break above. Alright. So this was a resistance. This was a double top here. That's why the price pull back. So we'll see how. Before we making any decision now. Alright. 所以如果是这样的状况的话是要小心了哈要小心除非嗯它是转上哦除非它转上去了哦现在是比较危险的状况哦如果你手头上有的话我希望说你减仓了哦如果它再下跌的话继续创新低的话你要出掉它哦呃
So it's actually move above the support level. So the support level is important. Lah. So if one day they break below support level, then you, you have to be careful. Lah, huh? Okay, man. So there are two levels of the support here. And new. So new is slightly weak. Okay. So new the whole who is slightly weak. Alright. So you can see that this talk uh this uh uh, new they went up aggressively they pulled down also aggressively all right so this is a growth stock oh you know this is a growth stock growth stock the issues or a gongsu i mean john chin oh then to change the what's the in way to go uh si chang fan tan oh can how to go sing and yen you choose to go then tong chi so you can do fan tan so you mark up for how to do it okay so where is the support? Okay, the next support is the immediate support. Okay, so if the price continue to drop, the next support will be $8.39. All right, so there are two levels of the price that you can monitor and put the stock into a watch list. Okay, ma? so what are your stock? So you can see what stock you are looking for. Let me know. Master Bloomberg just reported global fund abandoned China blue chip in 9.3 billion sell off. Okay, thank you, Wilfred. All right, thank you. Huh? Okay, Wilfred, like what I mentioned, um, you need to base on your own objective, all right, to invest because uh, Hong Kong stock, you need to be have a very patient. Okay, um. It's like, for example, when you buy a certain stock, there is no perfect timing. If the stock can drop so much, for example, I show you my view. Huh? Hang Seng. Right. So if you do the measurement, Okay, Hang Seng index dropped by 44%. Okay, so when the index dropped by 44%, uh, actually, you no need to be perfect, okay, to buy. Okay, you just need to be slightly better than them. Okay, so that means uh, if you can buy near uh, 35% low or 30% low, uh, you are considered a very good investor already. Okay. So that's what I mean when the stock price drop a lot. Nah, you no need to be perfect. You just need to participate and wait patiently. If you can catch 35% or 30% lower, okay, you are very good, considered a very good investor. So that's what I mean. Nah. But however, if you don't have a spare cash, okay, you need the money in the near future, then you don't buy nah, okay, the Hong Kong market. All right, because... Um, the time frame is question mark. We do not know when are they going to rebound. But uh, based on the historical data, when they rebound, uh, they rebound strongly. Uh. They don't wait for you to buy. So that is the nature of the Hong Kong market. Okay, ma. So that's my view. Uh, huh? Okay, let us take a look. Some stock. So thank you, Brandy, Eunice, HSC, Theo, and B Lim. All right, see you, ML Fong. Yeah, thank you. Franken and UMS. Okay, we take a look. Franken and UMS. F R E N. Franken. So we take a look, Franken. We use the I use this black color chart. Huh? Franken. So
So how do you think about Franken? Okay. So will the price continue? How do you think? Will the price continue? Right. So that's your pressure, lah. Huh? So right now it looks like the price has the pressure. So they are hitting resistance, okay? So quite obvious they are hitting resistance, okay? I'm not sure will they break through or not, okay? If let's say the price break through, pull back a little bit, okay? So this is my guessing, lah. all right? So if the price can pull back, okay? Pull back before they continue to go up, right? So right now, obviously, they're hitting the resistance. Lah. So we will see this few days. Okay, or on the another hand, right, they may move sideways and then they break through. Okay, so we are not sure. So we'll see how. All right, we'll see how. Okay, because the stock has been downtrend for a long time. Okay, so if they can break through, then it will be good. Lah. Okay, if you can break through, then it will be good. All right. UMS. UMS. Uh, yeah, last week we talked about UMS. Okay. So if you look at the price chart also, yes, they are rebound and the price continue to stay above the 200-day MA, right? So SDI index dropped 7.3, UMS didn't drop, Franken didn't drop. Um, it looked like investors are still inside, the market maker are still inside. So these are the stock that you can watch, okay? And today... They're moving up a little bit. Okay, ma. So what I will do is that I will put this stock in my watch list. Then we will see how next week. Franken. Then UMS, right? Franken and UMS. F R A N C. Because Franken and UMS uh, look uh, pretty strong, okay, this few days, all right, the price didn't drop, SDI index drop, this stock didn't drop. So I think got opportunity and look like the price also How do you think? Look like got potential breakout. Lah. Oh, you ma, come down. Ma. So look like the price has the potential to break out. Okay. So this was the resistance. All right. So let us monitor together. Can you please share China index? China index. Ah. Let me see uh, China index. Shanghai. Shanghai Stock Exchange. This is a Shanghai Stock Exchange. All right. So it's not uh it's not looking good as well. The price is selling down. All right. So the price is selling down. And it actually break the support level as well. All right. So the next support probably will be somewhere here. All
So overall, China and Hong Kong is not doing well also, okay? Semcorp industry. Right. So the price begin to break below 50 day lah, huh? for the first time. So they are turning weak. Huh? So the first time it is to break this 50 day range. So the stock is starting to turn. The first time it is to break this 50 day range. The stock is starting to turn. The first time it is to break this 50 day range. The stock is starting to turn. The first time it is to break this 50 day range. The stock is starting to turn. 所以它跌破了，所以你就要小心。Then, uh, next support level will be probably five dollar, somewhere around five dollar, which is the support level. If the five dollar continue to break below five dollar, then you have to be careful. 可以吗 ？All right. So it's a very, uh, very high. They went up a lot. 所以这个股票已经涨了很久，也是很高，涨了差不多。九百八千呢，哦，从这个 pandemic 开始，是吗？六毛，六毛走到最近高点是六块，六块是九百八千，九百八千够了哈。所以如果它跌的话是合理的哦。So um it went up almost nine hundred percent. So if they pull back or having correction is always healthy lah. Okay, because the price is so high. So let him have some rest, oh, huh? let uh Sam Cole and Nasi have have some rest, okay, ma? S I A. So how do you think about S I A? S I A also dropped fifty day below, okay. So again, the support is so. Now it is about six dollars eighty cents. Six dollars eighty cents. So six dollars eighty cents is a pretty strong support, alright. And if the price can stay above six dollars eighty cents, um, I think, uh. I mean, if the price break below sixty eight, then you have to be careful, lah. Okay. So, if from this SDI index, you this reversal, or or is, uh, the situation is in the low point, almost seven point six cents. Then, subsequently, the stock starts to fall. So, six dollar eighty cents is what we call that support level. If the price continue to drop. Then, uh, break below six dollar eighty cent. You have to be careful, lah. Oh, so in general, so SDI 走软 then SIA 也是也是会走软啦。哦，可以吗？认定呃，之前跟大家分享说是不好啦。哦，认定 is not uh is not good. Okay, because the price continue to go down, so they go down lower. Okay, so that's why I say uh. Liquidate, all right, the position, and because the price break below one hundred day, and then recently also break below the support level, okay. So, so, 暂时不是不是很好了哦，暂时不是很好 ，all right. So let me choose the stock um randomly Baba So how do you think about Baba So Alibaba the stock support is somewhere around $80 Right, 
So, um, and recently the earning report is is positive, okay, but the price didn't really go up, right? Because the entire market of Hong Kong is weak, okay. So the net resistance is one hundred, somewhere around one hundred dollar. So I expect um Baba is going to move in the sideway as well, right? Between eighty dollar to one hundred Oh, they are going to move in a sideway, right? L M N D. L M N D. L M N D. Okay, what stock is this? What are they doing? Uh. Financial services, financial services. Okay. So this stock is not doing well, right? Um, if you look at the candlestick, can you see the candlestick? So it's just you can just walk in your kind of chart the pattern and jung yao. So you're going to kind of just uh pay chang a bearish the candlestick. Is this is what Zhong Jia is in two chang now, right? Chuang家已经不完了，哦，他们就玩别的股票，所以如果你还在待在里面的话，then就就就很危险了，哦，所以很明显，嗯，it's better for you to skip this stock, right? Uh, you know, because um, the market maker is exit from this stock is very obvious. Okay, ma, and P L T R. So PLTR Palantir is a popular stock, okay? Many people talk about this stock, right? So how do you think Palantir? So the price just begin to rebound, is it? Last night got rebound. Last night, last night, last three night they rebound a little bit, okay? So, will they continue to go down? We take a look. Okay. So, it's very clear that its support is about 138,000. Okay. But overall, the U.S. market is still weak, although uh, last two days they rebound, but yesterday they begin to pull back. All right. So like what I mentioned, um, if you want to buy, uh, of course, if you can, try to wait until $13.00 you. $13 would be the best price la, if you can wait. La. Okay. If you can wait. If you cannot wait, like what I mentioned, you buy very small position, okay? If you cannot wait, you buy a very small position. If you can wait, $13. Okay, ma? So we still have to look at the situation. So the last few days have been a bad thing. So this is a leader, right? So resistance is somewhere around fifteen dollar ninety cent. Right. So we will see how. Hmm. G E. Poem account to trade Hong Kong stock. How poem charge the exchange rate S G D. Uh, Stella, you might want to ask. Uh. My colleague Cliff, you have our number. Uh, this well hero the WhatsApp number. Uh, uh, this is phone number. Uh, you can WhatsApp. Uh, we. G E. We take a look. G E. So G E is a U.S. stock. Right. Okay. So a very strong stock. Okay. And recently only dropped a little bit. Okay. 
so there's um so far there's no sign of uh what we call that there's no sign of weakness yet the stock is still strong unless the price break below the moving average all right but overall if they really drop i think it actually give you a good opportunity to opportunity to accumulate that that's what i think all right so will they drop somewhere around here so we'll see how will they drop okay i don't know so we see how because uh, the price also sloping down oh. higher low so higher low is formed that means the stock is uh, is weak la, turning weak also all right so we'll see how okay So this is the support level. All right, okay, ma. So US market actually give us some opportunity to enter if the price uh continue to go down. So that's why we continue to monitor la, oh. Okay, ma. All right. So we see how US market is So how do you think about Apple? Okay, Apple also look attractive, right? So this is near support level, so that's why they rebound, All right? So we will need to see how. Okay, the resistance is somewhere here. Can you see that? So this is a resistance, also in this pin, huh? Then if we change to weekly chart, let us see. So this is a weekly chart, All right? Let me use the black chart AAPL. So how do you think? So the price look attractive for solar, huh? So the price obviously look attractive also, right? So now the price begin to rebound a little bit. If they can continue, then maybe they will rebound further, right? So we see how this few day came okay, So overall, like what I mentioned, um, index, if you take a look, the index performance, right? Yeah. Index performance. So SDI, Is it near bottom? S&P 500 rebound. Okay. So Hong Kong continue to be weak. Right. So rebound. How long? So this is a question mark. Huh? So rebound. So if you are not sure, away small size. Is it bottom? Okay. Not sure, away small size. Huh? If you still want to buy. Huh? Okay. Right. So that's my view. Okay. So continue to be weak. Then uh, depends on individual. All right. If you have a spare cash, you can consider. All right. So if you, uh, 
don't have and then uh, you have no patience, then it's better for you to skip. Lah, okay. All right. So you have to be very patient for Hong Kong market. Patient. All right. So that's my view for this uh, market. All right. So let me move on to my slide. Okay. Okay. So my suggestion again, do not watch the news. Okay. Always use the chart and then and you price action to determine the entry point and the exit point. All right. So why we use chart is because chart is accurate. It shows us the real data. So that's why we always look at the chart. And then after that, we use prior action to identify when to buy and when to sell. So that's a reason for us to look at the chart. And most of the retail investor problem is because they always read the news. Now the news is actually hired by the company to write the news to attract the reader. Okay, so that is their job. Lah. So, but your job is to control yourself, all right? Make sure the news will not influence you. Lah. Okay, so that's why I say, okay, always look at the chart, show us the real data. And the solution is price action because they will help you when to buy near the bottom, right? And then they will also help you to buy when the price actually break out. So this is the price action solution. And why price action solution? Because it will help us to identify the chart pattern, whether breakout or breakdown, so that we can prepare earlier whether to buy or whether to sell. So our human face also has a pattern. Huh? So if our face is happy, of course, then you can talk a uh, joke with your friend. But if your friend's face is sad, then of course, you try not to talk joke with them. Okay, ma. So chart also has the pattern because why? Because the stock chart is driven by the human psychology behavior. So it transaction. So chart pattern Hong是由这个人所造成的，所以我们要提高我们的呃技能哦，或者是知识哦，来呃就是要如何看这个图表，来抓住确定，因为每一个人我们人都有自己的pattern，就像好像你的孩子这样，他们有他们的自己的patt
so that you can prepare your breakfast, lunch, and dinner at your home conveniently. Lah, okay, so you can save your time. And many people thought that pride action is for short term. Actually, pride action cater for long term, mid term, and short term. So, pride action is actually called Pride 